Hello and welcome to Belgian Diecast Restorations. I'm Johan and this video is the 20th restoration on my channel. Today we have the Matchbox number 54B Cadillac Ambulance. This 187 scale model was produced by Leslie between 1965 and 1970. This regular wheels model remained in production up to 1969 and was replaced in 1970 with a super fast model. As you can see the model has definitely been played with. The paint is missing on body and bottom plate, the windows are clouded and scratched and the interior is dirty. The beacon, as is often the case, became dull. At first sight it looks like a straightforward restoration to bring this model back to its factory state. So let's get restoring. The car is held by one rivet and a clip on the bottom plate in the back. I drill out the rivet until the bottom plate comes away. Now I can take out the interior. The window unit is held by another rivet, but even after drilling that one out it remains quite stubborn as it is wedged between the dashboard. And although the casting is not visibly deformed, it looks like the window is firmly squeezed between the pillars. Finally the window unit comes out and I can remove the small clear unit with the beacon and signal light. The axles and wheels are in fairly good condition, but they need to be polished and freshened up. I take off the wheels by grinding away the axle ends. The plastic parts, the axles and the wheels go into the ultrasonic cleaner to get most of the dirt off. The body and the bottom plate go into the caustic soda to remove the paint. With the paint removed and the body polished, we can have a good look at the casting for any damage. And sure enough, I notice a hairline crack in the left front pillar. It's almost invisible to the naked eye, but under a magnifying glass I can clearly see that it has cracked right through. This needs to be repaired before painting, as hairline breaks like this will move and end up cracking the paint and become a lot more visible than they were before. I reinforce the brake with superglue and baking soda and file away the excess material until I get a clean surface.
On the outside, I apply some italeri putty to camouflage the small hairline crack. Then I sand the excess away until I'm satisfied. With the pillar repaired, I drill a pilot hole in the rivet post using a 1.5mm drill. Then I tap a 2mm screw thread. A screw is fitted and left into the post prior to painting. Since the ambulance will be painted white, I prime the body in Vallejo white hobby paint. For the bottom plate I use the same brand in grey. The casting then gets two coats of Motip high gloss white. The bottom plate then gets a coat of Motip High Gloss Black. After the color coat, the grille and the headlights are detailed in Molotov Chrome. I detail the headlights with the pen, but for the grille I switch to a fine brush. Finally, the body and the bottom plate get several coats of AK Interactive Gloss Varnish. The steering wheel attached to the interior was already very loose and finally came off. First I give the interior a good clean until it looks like new again. Then I glue the steering wheel in place using a drop of super glue. The wheels are cleaned, then they are freshened up with heavily tinted Tamiya X1 black. The axles then receive a good polish with the wire brush. The window unit has some rather deep scratches and pits. I first go over those with 1200 grit sandpaper, then 2000 grit, before I can polish them. After that the windows look fresh and transparent again. Not perfect as I still have some pits, but nevertheless pretty good for an almost 60 year old model. 
I also noticed a crack in the top of the window unit. This is commonly caused by pressure on the beacon. In order to stop the crack from spreading to the windscreen, I seal it with super glue. The beacon has seen some action and had several encounters with the floor. It is also sanded and polished until it looks shiny again. When the paint is cured and all the parts are cleaned and polished, I can reassemble the model. I attach the wheels back to the bottom plate using a small hammer and a watchmaker's anvil to form a new mushroom head on the axles. Then I drop the beacon and the signal lights in place. The window unit, which slides first into the front frame, over the slab of the dashboard, then over the rivet post in the roof. And finally I drop in the interior and I close up the model with the screw. For the finishing touch I attach the red cross decals. As always I make these myself based on pictures and on the placement of the guides on the doors of the model. If you are interested in my decals I offer the digital files of my work on my buy me a coffee page. For members all my decal files are free, others pay a small fee per decal. Let's first have a look at what we started off with. This ambulance was very dirty and play-worn with missing paint and dull windows.
And this is what it looks like now, cleaned up, polished and repainted. I'm not satisfied with the tiny speck of dirt that managed to get on the model before I applied the clear coat, but it's not too obvious, so I'll just leave it like that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell. More restorations are coming up. See you in the next video. Thank you.